I am setting my intention right here, right now. I don't believe in poor connectivity in the woods. <laughs> so we're out in the middle of, um, in a place near the water. I'm going to stay in the car so I'm not too distracted. I'm late. I went and got a haircut instead of going live. <laughs> I apologize. But what have we been talking about about time? It doesn't really exist anyway. My hair's a disaster. <laughs> it's not been, the more it dries after a haircut, the crazier it gets. And it's okay. It's okay. It's just the package. Um, I was um, really receiving a solid message on my way through um, to go get my haircut, and I want to see if I can bring it back through as solidly as it was coming through before. So I am out in the woods in a quiet place, finding some peace for a few minutes. I'm going to take a walk down by the water before I go back home. Um, I don't know if anybody's going to join me because I'm totally in my own time again, <laughs> as always. But um, there's one. I see one. Hi. I see two. Come on in. Come on in. There's um. There's a very important subject matter, <laughs> Rachel. There's a very important subject matter that's going through my brain, and I hope that my connection holds because I'm in my car out in the woods. If you could see, this is the most gorgeous area. I'll take a video of it when I get to walk in. I've actually taken videos of the water that it's right past these trees. This beautiful mountain stream is right here. So I love getting close to the water. My energy is so much better near the water. Hi, Deborah. So, um, this is going to be important and it's strong and it goes against a lot of people's belief systems. <laughs> Lately, I can't seem to hold back that part of me. Diana comes into the building and it's like, okay, I got something to say. <laughs> and she is a powerful force to reckon with. And so when she wants to come in and pass something along, I'm just letting her. So hopefully this connection sticks around and if it doesn't, we'll try again from, from the house in a little while. Um, as I was driving over to get my hair cut, I, I had this really solid message coming through me. It was really well spoken. <laughs> I wish I had recorded it because in the moment that I was doing it, I was like, well, this is good stuff. And now here I am sitting in my car, but I can do it again. That's the beautiful part of learning how to shift into the higher self. When you get to that place, you just kind of take a big breath and all of a sudden you, you invite in. It's like, our um, higher selves, the angels, they don't really need us to speak in words to them. They don't really need us to say, hey, come on in. We can do that if it makes us feel good. But they know when we're inviting, when we're open. So I open up a space for them, and then I hold that space. And so in that space comes through a beautiful message. And it's a message that defies most people who stand strongly on the Bible. <laughs> so... If you're, uh, um, if you have those very strong belief systems, and you don't want me to um, burst the bubble or give you or make you feel uncomfortable, you might not want to watch this. But if you're okay with being very open-minded and allowing these messages to come through, Yeshua is very, very much a part of my life now, very much a part. When I say that name, Yeshua, I feel that energy just come surging through me. And there's a lot of things that need to be set straight where it comes to the Bible and how we look at Jesus and how we look at heaven and hell and all of that. Um, there has been a, a lot of misinterpretation. Um, people who have been interpreting the, the words of Jesus or the words of um, any of the prophets incorrectly. You know, what is a prophet truly? A, tr a prophet is a psychic. <laughs> and yet, the Bible takes psychic energy, any kind of metaphysical, and turns it into some kind of evil and says, oh, you've got the devil in you. Okay, so we're going into judgment today. We're going strongly into judgment because my higher self is very much um, into the whole idea of your favorite topic. Good, Rachel, because here we go. It's going to come out fast and furious because my higher self does not hold any punches. <laughs> so all of us down through the ages, we've all lived different lifetimes, some fewer lifetimes on earth than others. You'll notice you can see the baby souls all around you. <laughs> They're very confused right now. They really have no idea what's going on, poor little buggers. Um, and then there's those of us who are ancient. <laughs> you know, we've done this so many times. And even though we come into the world with um, not really, you know, we got to get a, a pretty good dose of amnesia. It doesn't take us long to start, you know, waking up that, that deeper ancient wisdom that lies within us. And that's the part that comes through when we start saying, okay, higher self, you know, all that. That's It's like this, suddenly this um, 
wisdom just fills the building and it takes over and it really takes over my whole being it's like okay here we go no longer will i be that little diane <laughs> the little damaged self the higher self comes through very strongly and my higher self comes through with a very strong message today and that strong message is is that we are not ever 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 judged on the other side we are not walking around here waiting to decide if we want to if we get to to go to heaven or hell there's nobody um on the other side that's passing judgment on anything that we do and i know that that really goes against a lot of people because they really want to they like judgment so much <laughs> it's like it's like everyone's favorite game if you watch the news or or anything that you ever do reality programming or just the, your friendships or if you go to church <laughs> um your friends uh, in everything that humans do they want to judge each other they want to put each other down everything that we're always looking even me in a, in a more advanced stage I still tend to judge myself harshly and I will see what I don't like about me and other people and that's that's kind of how that's that old wiring that likes to come up and kind of haunt us sometimes right so here's the truth of it you have lived many lifetimes you have chosen to bring karma into this world. Hell is here. <laughs> it is our creation. We get to choose to be in um, a state of bliss or a state of hell, really, right here on the earth. And we go through, say Hitler did some atrocities while he was here on the earth. His soul is still perfect. His soul is still a diamond. Down underneath all those layers, he still has that beautiful, perfect soul. He's a part of you, and he's a part of me. That's the truth. We're all connected. We all come from one source. So all of the most atrocious people on the planet that you've ever thought of down through history that did horrible, horrific acts, well, we are all a part of that. We were all a part of that. We all wanted to learn from these experiences. And it gives us that opportunity to learn and to grow, correct? So... Um, so what we've done is we have created the opportunity for experiences, lower vibrational experiences here. We couldn't have it on the other side. It doesn't exist on the other side. There is no judgment. There is no lower vibrational energy on the other side. <laughs> There's none. So if it, if it's judgment, like, oh, I, you get to go to heaven and you get to go to hell. Nope, doesn't exist. It's not true. It's totally a fabrication. <laughs> crowd control is what we call that it's a fabrication there it's not that there isn't the opportunity for the experience of hell the experience of hell can be created here on the planet earth if your soul has gone through um, some experiences that it was like wow that was awful how could I do that it you'll go to the back and you'll go okay I want to pay back I want to do something to pay back the energies that I created on the planet. And so your soul will lay out a plan for a very hell-like experience on the planet Earth. And so every time that you've gone through those experiences, or anyone that you see is going through, I mean, you might have come back as a, a little starving baby in Ethiopia. You might have come back as a child who got horribly abused. You might have come back as a child who had a, a very painful experience um, through through illness or disease or or you might even stay here for 120 years and still be living in a, a space of judgment of of just never fully being able to come in, into yourself because you have created yourself the experience of paying back through karmic energy through karmic lessons and you created your own hell the flip side of that is is you also get the opportunity to have experiences where you you create pretty close to a heaven experience here on earth too you're pulling in the light while well, I'm speaking to light workers when we go into sessions the sessions that I've been having lately are insanely powerful and what happens is and I have I, this is totally higher self though because nobody else has taught this it just is happening I hope that's not messing up with the video <laughs> um, what's happening more and more and more is that we are not in um, held to our karmic lessons anymore we are allowed now to in this new energy we're allowed to wipe that slate clean and start fresh so even if your soul said well I gotta go back and live this horrible experience because I want to pay back I need to pay back for whatever I did and some other and it may have been something that really wasn't even your fault but you took on shame blame guilt and decided 
to that however you needed to pay back for that experience that you created for someone else and and in the process of that others in your soul family have come in creating a soul contract between you to allow you to go through some horrible experience with them so that you can pay them back in some way so that likely in the past life somehow you felt like you hurt them and so they're going to come back through with you. They're going to agree to this. And they don't really have to, but they are. They're going to agree to come back in. Let's see if I can get that. Sorry. So my life <laughs> paused me. Um, so, okay. So this is what happens. <laughs> I'm going to give you a resolution very quickly so I don't get cut off. Those experiences, all those lifetimes where you've been trying to pay back karma. You've been trying it. You have soul contracts. You have all this stuff. We can wipe it clean. We can go into, say you've got, you're just living an, exist, an existence where it's just not what, you're, what you need to. You're a light worker. You're here to do good. You're here to be happy. <laughs> you're here to find your bliss. Because in those moments of bliss, your energy is just like a wave. If you could see it, it's this wave of energy that goes across the planet. And it creates this newness, this new earth. And so... If you're still living in that world thinking, well, I've got to pay somebody back. I've got this karma that needs to be repaid. Your guides, your, these angels, they're trying to help you to release that thought process. They're trying to allow you to move forward and to let that go. So how do you do that? If you can't do it yourself, if you can't connect it, it can be difficult when you're really, you got all these blocks of energy, you got all this karma. Um, it can be very difficult to release that on your own. And so, hi Lisa, hi Carol, hi Stacy. I'm seeing you guys pop in, I'm just on a roll. Um, so what we're doing now in these sessions is we're actually, they're showing us, the biggest thing is, is we're putting light on it. You know, those lower vibrational energies, they can't exist in, in the light of a light worker's love. They can't. They only exist in the darkness. And so when we say light worker, you are literally a bright, shiny light. And when we go into these sessions, we bring light to those places that are in darkness. So those places that you've stored up energy, where you've stored up this karma, soul contracts, whatever it is, we come in, hi angel, we come in and we bring in light to those places. Carol sometimes works in sessions with me. Angel's been in sessions. Stacy, a lot of you have done sessions with, with us all. And the whole idea here is, is we go in and we shine a light and we show you those places where you've got stuck energy where you have set yourself up for some horrible experience or at least a painful, difficult experience. It may be just scarcity. It may be that you just continue on this cycle of, of relationships that are painful. You keep going through. You keep going through. <laughs> I think a bag just fell out of the tree. You keep going through these crazy losses or your life just is so painful. And your, your generations... Your, your family line, no matter how hard you try, your kids are going through the same stuff. And that's what happens is your kids, if you don't release these karmic bonds, these uh, karmic lessons with the soul contracts, your future generations will also continue to carry this until somebody just says, okay, enough, enough. I'm done suffering. I'm done watching my children suffer. I'm done with this entire ancestral issue that's been rolling around and around. It could be something from a thousand years ago, still rolling around in your ancestral line. And so when we go into these sessions, we're able to begin to release. It may not all happen at one time. It may be a small release and a small release, depending on where you are and what you're ready to, to experience. Sometimes we're actually able to see the past life where you got stuck, which is the coolest thing ever. I love it when that happens, when it starts to unfold and we're like watching. It's happened a number of times with different people where they give me a past life and I'm watching it and I go okay there it is there it is <laughs> and we find it it's like finding a buried treasure there's the place they take us back to the very inception of that energy that's stuck inside of you and when we get back to it we can say okay we're going to replay this a little bit we're not going to stay stuck here anymore time is all right now 
Even though you think of that life as being over and done with in a thousand years ago, it comes right back. We walk right into it like a bunch of time travelers. And we go into that space where everything got stuck. And we shine a light on it. We change the energy of it. And it reverberates out like this crazy field of energy just plush. You can feel it. It just opens up a whole new trajectory for your life and for your children's lives. And I've watched this. I can prove it to you because I've watched this work in my own children's lives. They don't know what I do. They don't understand what I do. Mostly they don't even accept it. Mostly they're just like, mom's crazy. But I've watched their lives change. I've watched them come into suddenly suddenly all of them finding joy finding beautiful relationships moving on creating this new energy in the entire uh, family line and so and I still have work to do it's not perfect there's so many there's so much work to do because we have all of these things hi Lynette we have all of these things that are um, from all these different family lines so my kids are dealing with my family line which is a lot we have a lot of ancestral we have past life stuff we have all this karmic stuff so as I'm releasing it it's helping them along the way and we have to sever ties we have to change DNA we have to work on the father's side of the family and and all of that and each of them has all this all this stuff thank goodness our children also all have a team that works with them I don't have to resolve all their problems what happens is, is I work on my stuff. <laughs> I work on my stuff. And as I'm doing that, it begins to release them from their karmic ties or their soul contracts that they have with me. And as those negative things start to wash away, they find life becomes easier and easier and easier. So you're not just talking about making your life a better place. This reverberates out for who knows how long. It goes back into the past. It goes out into the future. The, the energy starts releasing from your ancestry and suddenly your cousins, your aunts and uncles, people that you would never even have contact with are finding that energy is being released and they're, all of a sudden things are getting easier. We're talking about a worldwide, global type of reaction to doing these kinds of sessions. They're not any little, this is not just, oh, I'm going to sit with someone for an hour and we're going to talk. <laughs> No, that's psychology 101. This is getting to the very root of wherever it is in the ancestral line. Getting to the root of whatever it is in your past life. Getting, clearing away old karma. Clearing, cutting up. Just ripping those soul contracts into a million pieces so that people can find joy again. So that that, it's like they're walking around with this heaviness weighing them down. They can't see the light. They can't get to it. I drive through town and I'm seeing these people and they're walking around and they're living, but they're not. It's like the lights are on in nobody's home. How many of us see that all the time? I've been there. I can be there again. Every now and then I, I end up in that same, oh, what a dragonfly. I can go to this. He's coming back. <laughs> Come on. There he is. Oh, he's so beautiful. Um, I love dragonflies so much. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um where was I? So many people are doing this work. You don't have to come to me. If you choose to come to me, I would love some more work because I love to work. <laughs> you can come on in. Don't worry about how much it costs. We, we, that's not ever an issue with us. Oftentimes, Carol, Gerald and the three of us together are like a this most beautiful balancing team for anyone that wants to begin to do this work in their ancestral line. So I'm not doing this to advertise because I know a lot of people do this stuff and they're like, okay, now you go to here and you click this. And when you click this, you're going to find out it's this amount of money and maybe we'll take a payment plan. I would no, we're not doing that. <laughs> if you want to start working on releasing energy, if you want to start getting to that place where you feel open and free, or you know anyone else that needs this kind of work and you're there goes a butterfly. Sorry. I can't sit outside. I'm too distracted. Um, you need this work so that you can find your joy where they can find their joy, where they can get to that very beautiful place. There's nothing to be afraid of. I know the ego. Whenever we start to work with somebody new, the ego often, and I'm finding it less lately, but often the ego will say, no, we don't need that. Because mm -mm. the ego wants to hold on to the old ways. The ego wants to stay in those patterns of suffering 
and difficulty because that's what the ego is comfortable with. Hi, Michael. So, um, so when you're ready, if the ego says, oh, you know, the first time I had a session with Paul, I nearly passed out the night before. At five in the morning, I got up, I cut my finger really bad, and I... I woke up and took the band-aid off and it started pouring blood again. I'm like, oh my gosh, I've got a session today at 11 and how am I going to 10? Something like that. And I barely slept and I almost passed out on my bathroom floor. I thought I was going to die. And I contacted him and I said, Paul, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here because I didn't even know what an energy session was. I said, I don't know what you need from me in this, but I ain't got nothing. And, and I said, let me contact you again and see maybe some other time we'll be able to do this. And he said, that's fine. Whatever you're feeling is okay. And I hung up the phone and then I got this dummy. <laughs> I think it was Steve flat out. He's like, you're sick. You're sick. And you were scheduled for a healing session and you're canceling it because you're sick. That makes no sense. <laughs> and so I had it. That dragonfly is flying circles around my car right now. <laughs> and there's a yellow butterfly. Hi, Steve. So please know, please know that if you're getting that fear-based reaction where you're like, no, I don't want to do that, it does change your life when you go into these sessions. It will change your life. It changes your life in the most beautiful ways. And suddenly, my job here is to, to help light workers to shine more brightly. That's my job. It's not based on how much money I can make. It will never be based on a financial monetizing I, I really dislike that. It's not that I don't allow people to, to, to return financially if they feel that need, but it will never be based on what an ability to pay. It's only based on your willingness to receive and to open to it. So I needed to say that because it's important for us to begin really working at this. I think I've had recently, like, because <laughs> I've been in such a, a work myself, trying to get myself uh, back out of some negative energy, that it's maybe three or four uh, times a week that I'll have a session. I could be doing three, three or four a day, probably, right now in this, and I would love to. So if you would like to give it a try with just me or with a team, let me know, and we'll work it out. I swear, I'm not going to hold you back for lack of being able to pay, anything like that. The only thing I ask is that you go on to Imagination of Becoming and you put in a nice review if you get a good if you get a good experience so other people are drawn to it. That's all I ask. And if you um, and if you come into a session and you and I only ask that you're open to receive and that you actually allow it in. That's all I ask. Because if you sit there and go, well, I like what she's saying, but I'm not really, don't think I'm deserving, then we're wasting our time. So when you're ready, when you're ready, just let us know. I promise you, it'll, it, they do. It changes lives. It changes lives, and that's why I'm here. <sighs> so much better. Okay. Lisa, speaking of a dragonfly, I saw a dragonfly flying around in our garden <laughs> when I looked out my window. Very good. Very good. How many, it's like dragonflies are one of the ways that I experience Steve. That's what I think is that our loved ones show up and to me dragonflies when I look at them they're magical creatures. <laughs> they're not just a regular old bug. Look at, look at them. They got the most beautiful eyes and they're all these beautiful colors and the way that they can control their flight is so amazing to me and they'll just stop right in my face and just like hover there looking at me and I'm like oh gosh I love them so much <laughs> they really are like dragons to me so that's why I love them anyway let's see been feeling it at mom's lately in the best in the last few days yeah this energy is crazy let yourself heal it's time because we are actually here this is a big secret okay I'm gonna give it to you right now we all think that we're here to work we're, we're here to just do you know we got so much to do we're light workers there's so much to do do you know what your most important work is what I'm about to do I'm gonna get in the car it's green and it's beautiful today And I'm going to go, as soon as I'm done talking to you guys, I'm going to head down there through those trees. <laughs> and there's water. And I'm going to sit by the water for a few minutes. And I'm going to let that energy just fill me up. 
and I'm going to enjoy myself. I went out and had, I was feeling kind of stressed out today, so I got myself a nice haircut, and I went and got a Starbucks, and I treated myself, <laughs> and I'm in a really good mood. <laughs> so I'm going to go take care of myself, because the secret is, is that we're actually just here to be here. We help each other out just through our resonance. When you um, take on that energy of love and light as a light worker, you're shining. It just comes out of you. The energy just exudes from your pores. And other people are around you. Today I was sitting in the chair getting my hair cut and, and I just was like, I heard Diana come knocking on the door. And she's like, can, can I bring in some energy? And I'm like, yes, please, Diana, come in. And this guy that was cutting my hair, I know he felt it. And I gave him a really good tip. <laughs> but it was like, I just want to fill up every space that I'm in just by being there and allowing that love to shine. That's what we're here to do. We will do the other things. We'll reach out. We'll write books. We'll, do, we'll speak to people. We'll do healing sessions. We'll do all this. But the biggest job that we have is to find joy, to find our bliss, and to let it just shine right out in the world. You're, you are a transmitter of love and light just by being here. So just be. Just be today. And whatever comes your way and whoever comes your way needs to hear something, some encouraging words, or needs to see your smiling face, just do that. That's it. Just do that. And then you're doing everything you need to do. So let's, um, just for a second, two or three minutes, go ahead and get yourselves grounded. I'm going to give you that moment of peace, that moment of solitude together, if you want to stick with me. No religious banter, <laughs> nothing, no judgment here, just peaceful presence. Allowing your light to shine for a minute. Just feel that love shine through you. You got your feet on the ground. You're gonna, we're going to grow up in the forest and be big, beautiful trees. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see these trees as, as we're doing this. Sorry for the reflections. So now as we're here, I want you to see yourself as a tall tree in the forest. Your roots are going deep into the earth. Everything you need is right there. You don't need to go find it. Trees just stand. The sun shines down. The rain falls. They reach deep, deep, deep into the earth for more water and nutrients. Everything that they need is right there. Nature provides it. So as you're standing there in this forest, we're standing together. I see us and we are gorgeous trees. Strong roots. This trunk starts to grow up taller and taller and really thick. And some of you, as I look around, some of you have that ancient, the moss growing up your side and that very, very thick the trunk so big that I can't ever reach my arms around you. So big and beautiful. You are the mama trees. You're the ones that came here just to hold space for all the rest of us little trees. I see some of you here now, mama trees. You're standing there. You're creating shade to help us to grow. You put nutrients into the earth. You give us encouragement. You whisper to us, come on, little tree, you can do it. Keep reaching. You will find the sun. That's you. And more trees and more trees are growing around us now. We're not all alone at all. It looks like just a few of us, but there's so many. Look down. Look down. There's some mushrooms growing there. There's some tiny new trees just sprouting up through the ground. So beautiful. And you creating the soil and the shade and everything that they need to help them to grow big and strong. That's your job. How amazing are you for having this beautiful job? And all you have to do is just be there. How does that feel to just rest into the thought of being a tree? Reach your arms out. Those are your branches, and there's beautiful leaves stretching out off of those branches. And some of the animals get to eat them, and some of the animals are finding shade. Little caterpillars crawling around, getting a meal, turning into butterflies. And as they turn into butterflies, they just dance around your tree leaves, thanking you. 
dragonflies everywhere, flying in and out, buzzing in and out like little helicopters. Maybe you see a few little fairies even. Some magical creatures start to come out. There's a tiny bridge close by. It's the troll bridge. Look under that bridge. There's a little little guy. He's just a little troll. He's not scary at all. He's peeking out and he's smiling at you. He's thanking you for the shade and for the, the way that you are supplying nutrients to the water. It goes down under his bridge. And just breathe now. Let that energy come up through your roots. Earth energy as she thanks you. And she nourishes you. Pull it from your feet all the way up. Up through your trunk. See it coming up through your heart. Through your throat. Clearing away any blocks of energy. Asking Archangel Michael to clear away anything that is negative that you're ready to release now. Cutting all soul contracts. Anything that can be cut that is for your highest of good. We're asking to have those cut away. All that old karma anything that's no longer serving you just release it let it go and it just flows right back out through those roots and all the way down into the earth so easy to clear all of your chakras clear all of your energy flowing up and down perfectly up and down your trunk into your branches back down through energy flowing and as it goes back into the earth, the earth thanks you. Oh, she thanks you for that, that energy exchange. She loves to do that for you. I feel all of that love as she sends it back up. Pull it from your feet, all the way up your legs, into your spine. Up, 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 all the way up your back. Strong and straight, nourishing those parts of you, bringing back youthfulness. Ask for it. We don't have to get old. We only get old because we believe we're supposed to get old. We don't have to get old. We can go younger. I've done it. I can prove it. So we're allowing that energy of youthfulness, the energy of peace, the energy of love to come all the way up through every one of your cells, filling you right up. And then it shines right at your pores. Everywhere you go today, you're just going to be a bright, shiny light to those who need you. Asking Archangel Michael to protect you perfectly today, wrapping you all up in a beautiful bubble of blue. Safely protected. Only love comes in. Only love comes out. Anything else, any kind of negativity, it just bounces off of that shield that he's just put around you. Nothing can hurt you today. Perfectly protected and in your peace. Take a big breath and begin to feel your feet again coming all the way up into your body. Feel that heat, that life come back in. Wiggling your toes and your fingers. Coming fully back into wakefulness. Stretch up like a great big old tree. Allow that energy to move through you. You are amazing. You are perfect. You're exactly where you need to be for exactly what you need to do. Know that today. I love you guys so much. I will talk to you later. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Take care.